to start off, create a new project. All these packages can be imported once your project has been started, so there's no need to select any at the moment. Then I will rearrange my windows. First, I will add a console window. Then I will click and drag on the tabs to move the windows around. Finally, drag my window frames around. And you can save your layout. Save layout. And you can have several layouts for different purposes. So we'll create a new JavaScript. This will be basic scripting double click on your new script and by default Mono Develop will open as the editor for the script this is not unity so this is just a very powerful notepad so you save your scripts here and then you come back to unity and you have to let unity reload your scripts with all the changes you make where are we going to start off? Let's look at variables. What are variables? Variables are locations where you can store values. It's like a locker or a letterbox or a safety deposit box. But it doesn't exist until you declare a variable. To declare a variable, you need to give it a name and give it a type. So we start with the keyword var then we give it a name now to finish declaring the variable we need to give it a type what type of variable is it? is it animal, vegetable or mineral? in programming it could be many things just some of the basics. We have integers, which are whole numbers. We have floats, which are decimal numbers. We have strings, which are a group of characters that form text. And we have boolean. This is an interesting toggle variable. This can have only two states. It can either be true or false. Let's look at how we make some of these. So to typecast, for an integer, we use the keyword int. And there we have it. That is a variable named my first integer of type integer. It is typecast as an int. So let's look at some of the other variables. Variable my float. And this one will make a float. This has a floating point number, a decimal number, past an integer. So it is typecast to float. Another variable type is a string. So it's typecast to string. You say type string. And my other example was a boolean. We have a var. And this is of type boolean. So there we have some variables. We can save this script. Let's go back to Unity. In our new project, we have a new scene. We'll create an empty game object. 
drag and drop the script onto the game object in the inspector. Now we can have a look at the variables we've created. An integer. So as I said, this is a whole number. 23, 25. Let's try and put in a decimal point. 57 points. It doesn't like the point. So you see, an integer is just a whole number. Let's try and modify our float. 1, 2, point, 3, 4. And there we have it. Float value. That's a floating point past the whole number. Now for a string. This is some text. So strings are for text. And Boolean, I have misspelt. So let's go and fix that up right now. Save the script. Now watch as Unity compiles that script. And we can check our changes in the inspector. Now I've spelt it correct. We have a Boolean. As I said, we can toggle it between two states. It's either true or it is either false. So there are the first four variables. Now you see they are declared at the top of the script, but more importantly, they are not within a function. They are outside on their own. So these particular variables are known as global variables. These variables can be read from within any function. I'll add a couple of more variables before I finish. Some other ones we're going to meet in the future. So there. And there we are going to have vectors. Now the most the first vector you'll meet is a vector three, because this will translate to a position or a direction in world space. For this you have three values: an x-axis, a y-axis, and a z-axis. Type cast a vector 3, and say it is of type vector 3. Let's save that script and look at the Unity. After it compiles, we check the inspector. So now we also have a vector 3 variable with an x component, a y component, and a z component. I should say value. Okay. So this we can define a three-dimensional point in space or a direction in three-dimensional space.